Well, I've been coming to Costa Rica since 1995, and uh, before I settled down here, my wife and I had made maybe five trips, and probably the main reason for moving here, other than just the geographics of the area here, is we, we met a few people here we liked, and as things evolved and we ended up with a boat, this is just where we chose to be. One day I'm sitting with a client on the beach in my car and then all of a sudden Tom and his wife and Petey and Ann, they drive up in this little tiny bago and they roll up and I roll my window down and I look over at him and he, he says, what are y'all up to? <laughs> you know, he asked me if we could go look at houses the next day and I was like, no, I can't. I gotta go fishing. But if you'll meet me at one o'clock on the beach, then we could probably go see something. And sure enough, the next day at one o'clock, he was sitting on the beach. We met when he went fishing with my brother Nino. After that, he just mentioned to me where he was bringing a boat down. He was trying to move out to Costa Rica. The very beginning, I say, you know, you know, a lot of people say the same story. I'm bringing the boat down. Never happened. I said, well, if you bring a boat down, I would like to work with you. And that's kind of like a, uh, a relationship start. What I thought was amazing was how their relationship has grown from when I first met them and they were fishing together and they were both starting out there on the Pata Viejo to where their relationship is. It's like a symphony on the boat now. I mean, it is dialed in. Yeah, every now and then there are these hiccups that, I mean, everything's not gonna go perfect. There's a fish that's wanting to jump in the boat. There's a, you know, there's a 400 pound marlin that's coming flying at us from the backside. Since the very first season we fished it, we feel really kind of fortunate that fish just seemed like to come to our boat. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad problem to I have, really man. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we had when we were out was just absolutely phenomenal. There's a certain cloud pattern that, that I like to see when I'm offshores. And it seemed like for the entire four days we were out there at any moment when you looked around your environment and surroundings, it was just a picture taking moment. And you don't necessarily get that on, on every trip. I've known Ton for close to seven years now. He now lives up here in Vista Royale on, on the hill. He's built him a great house. I see uh, Tom and Luis down there handing out loins all the time. And, and, and that's what's special about Garza is the fact of, you know, you, you, you gotta give back. And uh, cause Garza's definitely giving it to all of us. There's no doubt. class fishing opportunities here, but it's, it's you're playing the game and you have to be patient. Every day you go out and you don't do very well and you have to pay dues, makes you appreciate it when it happens. And, and that's what's important, is, is to not lose your focus of appreciating it when it really gets hot. <laughs>